we are going to make some Stump Town coffee. Right there, Stump Town Coffee Masters, whole bean organic coffee, Indonesia single origin. Okay, it is, it does smell good. And you can see it's a medium roast. Close the bag back up and just to kind of get an A B comparison of coffee beans, this is Groundwork Venice Signature Blend. And you can see that it is a darker roast. You can see the uh, stump town here and the Venice over there. So let me uh, separate these two again. As I'm trying to make an unadulterated cup of stump town because it's very important to people that like coffee to be accurate. And without accuracy, there is nothing. Okay, coffee grinder. Okay, there's a fine grind. what it looks like there okay now one thing that I have always tried to do and it's what people have told me to do is to use the hottest water you can get so I've got a pot of boiling water right here I use two rounded teaspoons per up, just like that. There's one. Two. Okay. Then let me get my pot of boiling water. You see the water is boiling away. That is very important. You want to have the water as hot as you can get it. Let me position the camera up here for exciting coffee action. Okay, here we go. So this is a Melita coffee filter and single cup filter holder. And I always uh, kind of scrape the grounds down into the coffee as it is filtering through. these coffee filters you want to be careful with them so as to not break them breaking is not good yeah, it smells good and our water is still boiling Okay, so let's just let that 
continue on down and I'm going to put the coffee back into the grinder just like that <clears throat> so I've got another day or two of coffee inside the grinder and that should keep it somewhat fresh I would think oh. so you can see the water is, is uh, only light brown now So this will just take another minute to filter through. And I am using a, uh, what do they call that? A corksicle, is that what it is? Yeah, a corksicle thermal travel cup mug and uh, it works really good. It keeps things uh, warm for a long time. I gotta say, I am very impressed with how long it keeps things warm. It has taken its own sweet, precious time. So I'm gonna call that done. <clears throat> and. Unlike some people, I like to use whole milk for coffee. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Let's see how it tastes. That's all right. Um, you can kind of taste the beans earthiness to it. Not too acid. But when you use milk or a creamer that kind of softens the acidicness. So it's a uh, it's a doable cup of coffee. You know, quite honestly, I used to drink a lot of bean coffee, and then I started drinking Taster's Choice and Classico, and I found that I like these better. I can pretty much get the exact same cup of coffee every time, so I never get a letdown from it. It's always a decent coffee. And it's good on uh, ice cream. If you want to have coffee flavored ice cream, put it in, uh, sprinkle some on your ice cream and you got coffee ice cream. Or if you got like a chocolate shake and you want to make it a mocha shake, put some in your shake. Works out really well there too. Stir it in. I, have, I guess you have to hit your 60s before you can really develop a taste for instant coffee though. But I do only like the uh, Classico and the Taster's Choice. They seem to be my go-tos. I've tried others uh, and they just ain't quite the same. So, okay, there you go. That is the uh, coffee taste with Stumptown. And that was uh, $17.99 for two pounds, was it? Let me see what that was. Stumptown and 12 ounces, so not even a pound, and it was uh, almost 18 bucks. I can get like uh, 
three jars of Classico for that much. Okay. Signing off. This is the Iron Truck, truck Camper Chef and the Fresh Ground Coffee Challenge. Stumptown, Indonesia. One source. See you on the next video. Let me add on to that that I turned the coffee, the Stumptown, into a mocha. And the way I do that is. I take a medium rounded teaspoon of Hershey's cocoa and a heaping teaspoon of unpacked brown sugar, mix them together in the cup, and that gives me a pretty decent mocha. And it is sure it's got sugar, but it is far and away better and it actually makes a, a decent mocha. Ah, so cheers. Okay, so that is the update. Stumptown, um, it's okay for coffee. Uh, there are better people out there for judging good coffees or not, but it did make a good tasting mocha. So there you go. All right, thanks for watching.